welcome to pm networking guys today i am going to show you what is the working of vlan how vlan works but before discussing working of vlan let me explain you what is vlan and what is the need of vlan why we come up with vlan so without wasting our time let's start topic is vlan guys as you know vlan stand for virtual local area network virtual local area network what do you mean by virtual local area network or virtual lan virtual lan means logical lan right or it is a custom network it is a custom network just let you let you know with one diagram suppose i have one switch right switch with 48 ports how many ports 48 ports i have one switch with 48 ports so i will connect computer through this port right yes i can connect computer through this port but all ports of this switch belongs to a single broadcast domain as you know switch the function of switch right all port of switch belongs to a single broadcast domain that means whenever this machine will generate a arc that arc will out from these 48 ports so that's not good this broadcast domain is large there is problem of latency right network latency so what we can do over here is we can break this broadcast domain into multiple part with the help of vlan we will discuss how vlan works how we can divide a, a lan into multiple virtual lan with the help of vlan but first understand what is vlan vlan means virtual lan suppose i have a network like this right i have a network like this this is my network what i want i want to create two virtual lan over here right this is my first first virtual lan and this is my second virtual lan right so i can create two vlan over here right i can create i will create two vlan over here on this switch and after that i will make member of these three ports to different vlan and i will make member of this port to different vlan right then if this machine will generate arc that arc will out from this port only right not from this port fine so we will discuss but why we come up with vlan because of network latency right there is problem of arc every time switch is forwarding arc to all port right so this is problem let me show you how vlan work right guys if i talk about switch port if i talk about switch port so there are two types of switch port first one is access port access port and second one is trunk port trunk port right access port means a switch access port is a switch port which carry traffic of single vlan which carry traffic of single vlan and if i talk about trunk port so trunk port is also a switch port but trunk port is a port which carry traffic of multiple vlan multiple vlan am i right so access port means a port which carry traffic of single vlan and trunk port means port which carry traffic of multiple vlan fine let me draw one more diagram over here right just suppose i have one switch this is my switch this is my port switch suppose this is 0 slash 0 this is 0 slash 1 so 0 slash 2 so 0 slash 3 0 slash 4 0 slash 5 0 slash 6 0 slash 7 0 slash 8 okay and i have eight computer one two three four five six seven eight okay let me connect all computer together through this switch Seven and eight, nine computer. Okay, so there is nine port. Fine. Suppose the MAC address of this computer is A. MAC address of this computer is B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. Okay. Suppose these are the MAC address of this computer. 
guys why this all computer belongs to a single broadcast domain because by default all port of switch are member of one vlan all port of this switch are member of one vlan that is vlan one by default vlan that is vlan one vlan one now these all port are member of vlan one and we also call to this vlan is native vlan native vlan this is my native vlan right so for native vlan tagging will not done right okay we will discuss about it later right so by default these all port are member of vlan one that's the reason why these all computer are belong to a single broadcast domain so let me create some vlan over here right let me create two vlan vlan 10 or vlan 20 right and there is one more vlan that is vlan 1 right now let me make member of these four port to vlan 10 right let me make member of this port to vlan 10 and let me put this vlan this port to vlan 20 right now i have two broadcast domain this is my one broadcast domain and this is my other broadcast domain so this is my one virtual land and this is my second virtual land this is one land local area network but there is two virtual land now right this is one virtual land and this is other virtual land right so with the help of vlan we create virtual land right logical land logical local area network virtual local area network understand how vlan works right so by default these all ports was member of vlan 1 now 0 slash 0 0 slash 1 0 slash 2 0 slash 3 0 slash 4 is member of vlan 10 and 0 slash 5, 0 slash 6, 0 slash 7 and 0 slash 8 are member of VLAN 20, right? And you know guys, switch maintain MAC at this table to forward traffic. Switch maintain MAC at this table to forward traffic. So suppose here is my MAC at this table. This is my MAC address table of this switch. MAC address table or you can also say cam table this is your cam table in cam table there is information of vlan right after that mac address and port right port so whenever switch will receive traffic on this interface right what switch will do switch will make entry in their mac address table right so i am receiving one suppose ip address of this computer is 10.1 ip address of this computer is 10.2 so suppose 10.1 is sending one traffic to 10.2 so right so in frame source mac will be a and destination mac will be b now this packet will come to this switch now what switch will do switch will make entry in their mac at this table that i am receiving one frame on which interface on 0 slash zero on zero slash zero who is member of which vlan guys vlan 10 right so i am receiving one traffic who is member of vlan 10 whose mac address is a and port number is zero slash zero port number is zero slash zero now switch will what switch will check switch will check, check destination mac address after that switch will check their mac address table so there is one more entry that VLAN 10, MAC address is 0B and which port? Port number 0 slash 1. There will be one more entry in their MAC address table, right? If there will no entry, then the switch will do a non-unicast threading, right? You know guys these things already, right? Now what switch will do? Switch will check the MAC address a computer which is connected on my fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 whose MAC address is B is member of vlan 10 or not if this port is member of vlan 10 then only i will odd this traffic from this interface otherwise i will not odd this frame to this interface to this interface so now this interface is also member of vlan 10 so yes definitely this switch will odd this traffic from this interface right and now the traffic will received by this computer right but suppose the ip address of this computer is 10.3 right and i am pinging 10.3 from this computer from 10.1 now this time this time source mac is a and destination mac is 
F. Am I right? Now this traffic will come to switch. Switch will receive on this interface. Switch will update this entry. Right? Switch will update this entry. After that, switch will check destination MAC address is F. Right? So there will be one entry. Right? So VLAN number 20. VLAN number 20 or a computer is connected with MAC address is F on my which interface? On my interface 0 slash 5. Right? Right? Now switch will check destination MAC address. Destination MAC address is F. So destination MAC address is F on which interface? On 0 slash 5. But 0 slash 5 is member of which VLAN? VLAN 20. So this switch is not going to forward this traffic to this interface. Right? To this interface. Now switch will never forward a traffic which received on the interface who is member of VLAN 10 and the destination F computer is member of VLAN 20. Right? So whenever switch receive a traffic, switch will check on which interface I am receiving this traffic and that port is member of which VLAN. So if that port is member of VLAN 10, that means switch will order that traffic to the port who is member of VLAN 10 only, right? Because this all port are access port. And what switch will do other thing, if there is one trunk port, right? If there will be one trunk port on switch, then switch will also forward that traffic to trunk port as well, right? So this is how VLAN work in if all ports are access port, if all ports are access port. Let me show you between two switch. Let me show you how VLAN work between two switch, right? Now suppose we have two switch over here, right? Suppose this is my switch number one. And this is my switch number two. Suppose I have four port over here, right? And four port over here. Okay, and these two switches are connected together. Suppose we have four computer as well. Right, let me connect all computer together through this switch. Okay, suppose the interface is 0 slash 0, 0 slash 1, 0 slash 2, 0 slash 3, 0 slash 4 and 0 slash 1, 0 slash 0, 0 slash 2, 0 slash 3, 0 slash 4. Just suppose guys, these all port are member of VLAN 10 and these all port are member of VLAN 20. So these two switch will maintain their MAC address table. MAC address table. So you already know how switch will MAC address table. Suppose MAC address of this computer is A. MAC address of this computer is B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Okay. So there will be entry like this on VLAN. MAC address and port right so VLAN number 10 on port MAC address is A and port number 0 slash 0 1 and 3 second entry will be MAC, VLAN 10 MAC address is B port number 0 slash 1 third entry will be 10 C 0 slash 2 10 D 0 slash 3 right in the same way there will be entry as well right so vlan id will be 20 and mac address is e and port is 0 slash 0 vlan 20 mac address is f port is 0 by 2 vlan 20 mac address is z and port is 0 by 3 vlan is 20 mac address is h and port is 0 by 4 right now suppose the IP address of this computer is 10.1 and IP address of this computer is 20.1. So if this computer will ping to this computer, right? In packet source MAC will be A and destination MAC will be B, right? And we have to configure this port, the trunk port, right? Trunk port. So this is my trunk port because this link will carry traffic of multiple VLAN, VLAN 10 as well as VLAN 20. So we need to configure this port as trunk port, 
राइट नो अंडरस्टैंड हाउ विल एन वर्क इन दिस सिनारियो ओके सो दिस फ्रेम बिल कम्स टू दिस स्विच नाउ स्विच विल रिसीव दिस ट्रैफिक ऑन दिस इंटरफेस राइट नो स्विच विल चेक देयर मैक एड स्टेबल सो दिस इंटरफेस इज मेंबर ऑफ व्हिच विलन विलन नंबर 10 इज देयर एनी पोर्ट हु इज मेंबर ऑफ विलन 10 नो इज देयर एनी ट्रंक पोर्ट सो यस नो स्विच विल ऑर दिस ट्रैफिक टू ट्रंक पोर्ट राइट बट बिफोर 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 फॉरवर्डिंग ऑन ट्रंक पोर्ट स्विच विल ऐड वन टैग राइट स्विच विल ऐड वन टैग सोर्स मैक इज ए डेस्टिनेशन मैक इज बी and tag in the tag field there will be information of vlan 10 that means this traffic is for vlan 10 now this switch will receive this traffic over here right on trunk port so this switch will remove this tagging right but this switch came to know that this is a traffic for which vlan for vlan 10 for which vlan for vlan 10 so is there any port who is member of vlan 10 no so this switch will not going to or this traffic to any interf interface right so communication will not happen but what happen if this port are if this port are member of these are these are the member of vlan 20 and this this port is vlan member of vlan 10 so now this switch will or this traffic to this interface because this interface is also member of vlan 10 right 10 okay and in the same way this machine will generate reply at the time of reply the switch will receive this reply on this interface after that switch will check their mac address table on which interface i receive this traffic on 0 slash 0 and 0 slash 0 is member of which vlan vlan 10 so i am going to all this traffic from the port who is member of vlan 10 so is there any port who is member of vlan 10 no is there any trunk port yes so switch will or this traffic from trunk port before forwarding on trunk port switch will tag right that is this is a traffic for vlan 10 now this switch will receive now this switch will remove this tagging and check destination mac address destination mac address will be a right but this is a traffic of vlan 10 so a computer is connected to 0 slash 0 let me check this port is member of vlan 10 or not so yes if this port is member of VLAN 10, then only I will order this traffic from this interface. Otherwise, I will drop this traffic. So, guys, this is how VLAN works. Hope you understand. If you like this video, please hit on like button. If you haven't subscribed my channel, please subscribe this channel because I am uploading this type of video every day. So, you will get notified whenever I will upload next video. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for watching. That's all for today. This is how VLAN works. If you have any doubt, let me know in comment, right? I will clear you. Okay. Bye-bye guys. Thank you.